Excuse me, November 2020 versus September 2021. I like that. I wonder where you're going to be in another year from now. It's a little bit scary. Okay, so I always say that you should appreciate the progress that you've made over time, the difficulties that you've overcome as an artist, and give yourself a pat on the back for where you are today. Well, in this video, I want to showcase some people who have come a long way from where they used to be. And uh, hopefully this stuff inspires you guys because it inspires me to see other people put in the work and have it show in their results. It's the most satisfying thing. It makes me so happy. So what I did is I asked my patrons on Patreon to put some of their before and after pictures of their art into our Discord server. And I'm going to take a look through it and uh, co compliment people. And there's a lot in here, okay? So if I don't get to you, I probably just took it out during editing because my reaction wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. So it's not you, it's me. I love you guys very much. With that being said, let's jump right into this. The first post we have here is from August 2019 and the bottom one is August 2021. So this here is from two years ago. And if you look at the one now, I can safely say that you have gained so much more confidence in your shape language, in your line quality. And I think the second piece has a very aesthetic, illustrative kind of style, which I can appreciate. Oh my, the top one is from March 2018. And the second one is from August 2021. So that's about three years and a little bit apart. And the second one, the character looks so good. I love the pose in this piece. I love the way you stylize the face. I am at a loss for words here. I mean, over the span of three years, I can tell that even in 2018, you had a very solid foundation here, but uh, this one just takes it to a whole new level. So round of applause. And here, top two, four months ago when I was just getting started in digital art, and the bottom two are from now. I think at this point you're just showing off. So the first two pieces obviously had no light source. You know, there's a very basic kind of rendering here, but the second two, I can tell that you used references and you really studied the way lighting interacts with a character and look at the hair, look at the skin, look at the sunlight in the water. It's, it's fantastic. And uh, to see this amount of growth in the span of four months is pretty good. I hope you're not lying to me, but pretty good. But what a show off. Okay, this one's also really, so April 2020 versus August 2021. Look at the first one. I gotta keep reminding myself that this is not a roast video. It's not a roast video, Sam. Calm down. But man, in the first piece, the shading's like non-existent. The uh, folds in the clothing, non-existent. And you come to the second one. Wow, like that's a huge improvement over the span of a year. And I think you really started to explore, you know, the shading on the skin, the shading in the fabric of the clothing and this kind of like rim lighting effect that you're trying to do now even with the shape language in the head of the character you know i can definitely see some huge improvements uh over the first one it would be impossible not to improve over this piece uh really good job really good job i am very proud of you oh my goodness i mean it's cute but this belongs in a roast video but your second one so that's 2019 versus august 2021 about two years and oh my God, look at those God rays. It's beautiful. And I love the stylistic choice with the combination of line art and rendering on your subject. Compared to the first one, I mean, in the span of two years, you must have put in a lot of work and I could definitely see it paying off. So uh, great job, very inspiring stuff, you guys. And this right here is 2009 versus 2021. It's a long period of time, but I want to show this because not everybody is going to be on the same schedule. Not everyone's going to be on the same timeline. It's perfectly fine to take art at your own pace. And I can definitely see some big improvements from the first one to the second one. First of all, your straight lines used to be not straight and your perspective used to be I'm not going to say it, but in the second one, I can really see that like the quality of your lines, the confidence in the shapes that you've created and the perspective, the perspective actually works this time and your straight lines are straight. Love to see it. So this one right here is from July to September 2021. Two months. I don't think there's going to be a huge difference in two months. What I like that you changed is that you used to steal my burb and in the second one you didn't steal my burb. So that's good on you because otherwise you would have ended up like uh, like this guy right here. Yeah, there's me threatening my most loyal supporters. What am I doing with my life, guys? What am I doing with my life? And this one right here is from December 2020 versus August 2021. And I'm not saying your guys' names because some of you guys have 
very weird names that I don't know why you do it to yourself, but I don't want to do it to myself. Anyways, back to this. This first piece from December 2020, you know, it's lacking a little bit more expressiveness in the character's eyes and the facial area. Uh, you've made a huge, huge improvement. And you can see the character, you know, there's a lot more anatomical structure to the eye. You know, the expression looks on point. The lighting and the depth of the shadows and the lights and the contrast is just fantastic. This makes me so happy. I love seeing other people put in the hard work and reach their goals. Toothless 2015 versus September 2021. Again, a longer period of time, but everybody's on a different timeline. No need to rush yourself. Okay, if you look at other people posting things like, oh, four months ago versus now, huge difference. Well, you know what? They're just trying to show off. Don't worry about them. You do you. The first one, I don't know what he's doing, but the second one, like you've got the expression down, you've got the lighting down, you've got the contrast between blue and orange, you've got that complementary color system, a complete pose and a complete background. Take my applause. Look at this one, June 2021 to September 2021. What I like the most here is that uh, instead of just this uh, scratchy background that you decided to do, you actually tried a real background. I love that. I love seeing people jump out of their comfort zones and try something that might not have been, you know, something you wanted to do before. But I mean, look at that. It turned out great. You can even see some of the ambient lighting on the character, which matches the environment now. And this whole piece just comes together as opposed to before. Don't you ever do that again. Keep doing what you're doing right now. You're on the right track. And look at this one, September 2020 versus April 2021. Not a very long time, but a big difference in your skin rendering. The hair is flat, everything is flat, but that is nice. I can see that you've used a lot of tips for my skin rendering tutorial. I love it. And looking at this now, you even got the uh, expression looking a lot better than before. Like she is much more expressive than the first picture. Yeah, good job, you're killing it. Ooh, okay, so this is July 2020 versus August 2021. Looking at the first one, that's good, it's cute, but let's look at the second one. Are you kidding me? So I know this is your OC, but you put her into a, a, a full on situation with a full background and a story here. It's like a, like they're going on an adventure and you got this beautiful lighting. Okay. You got this beautiful expression on the face, this beautiful background blur. I love this. I think this is a huge improvement from the first one, which looks quite simple now compared to the second one. And the fact that this is an OC and you had to apply some of the lighting here, I'm assuming from your imagination is even more impressive. So in the span of a year, my goodness, dude, you know, the more of these I see, the more I worry about my job security. Nice. So this is from June 2020 versus September 2021. And uh, the first one, I can see there's not too much, you know, rendering going on in the hair here. But uh, coming down to this one, look at that hair, huge improvement over the first one. And you even got the lighting, that dramatic top down kind of light. Look at this. This is again, a long period of time, 2013 versus 2021. And this is just a nice, simple sketch. You know, I'm pretty sure we've all done stuff like this when we were getting started, uh, but oh, oh my goodness. The lighting, the facial structure, the anatomy of the hands, beautiful colors in the jellyfish. I can't really point out anything that I don't like about this piece other than the fact that you guys should not be touching jellyfish. Uh, this is a, a dangerous activity that I do not condone. I mean, unless you're the type of person who likes to tell art babies to not use references when they're drawing. In that case, you can go touch a jellyfish. Look at that, 2015, 2021, traditional to digital. I love it. January 2020 to August 2021. That's a year and a half. I got to say this first one is not, you know, this would have definitely made one of my roast videos and I would have ended you right there. And then that second one looks so much better. Good job. I, do I have to censor that? Yeah, maybe I'll censor that. I don't want to get demonetized. Why do you guys do this to me? And the top one here is from December 2020. The bottom one is from September 2020. Look at the face here, the eyes, you know, uh, it's just it's a very cartoony kind of thing. Coming here to this one, if you look at the face, like it's very nicely structured. You've got the anatomy down and you even got the pose looking nice and dynamic. Whereas before she was just standing straight. Yeah, that's a huge difference. I'm really happy to see this. Good job. Keep going. This is great. Isn't that cool? Look, 2019 to 2021, 2019, you had this OC pencil sketch, 2021, 
you give her some colors. Similar thing here, January to September. And uh, the first one is traditional pencil sketch. And the second one, you tried a little bit of coloring. I love to see that. My goodness, can we just appreciate the stylization on this piece? Look at the first one, okay, 2014. It's a while ago. But look at the one now. Like, I think you got the shape language down really nicely. And you definitely, uh, I see some lowish influence in here, but you stylize the face really effectively too. And the shapes of the hair, just very satisfying to look at. You should be very happy with the progress you've made in the past seven years. Guys, hard work and consistency. Yeah. Uh, January to September. I think the proportions and everything look very appealing. You even got a nice background in there. Kind of tells a story on its own. And the first one, I mean, the first one's cute. It's cute. 2018 versus 2021. Look at the skin, man. Everyone out here coming for my job. June 2020 versus August 2021. Huh? Excuse me? That is wild. So the first one, there's no rendering at all. And the second one is like beautifully rendered. If you made this progress in a year, like good job. I wonder where you're gonna be next year. That's crazy. May to August. So you went from extremely creepy to uh, extremely creepy, but a little bit more visually appealing and aesthetically pleasing. No, but seriously, the colors look much better. Great job. This is kind of cool actually. This is from February, 2019. And you had a very realistic style here. But as you come down here, you can see in 2021, September, uh, you tried stylization. And I think this is a great, great stylization of a portrait. Looks immaculate. I love the shape language here, the highlights. That's about a year and four months apart, but man, look at the lighting in the second one. I love that. Look at the confidence in this light to shadow transition here from the sunlight to the nice ambient blue. I love it. Keep going. Excuse me. November 2020 versus September 2021. You must have put in a lot of work. Almost a year into digital art and doing tons of studies. Yeah, I can tell you did tons of studies because the facial structure here looks great. The hands look great. The rendering and the coloring, you found like this very distinctive coloring style here too. And uh, the way you did the hair looks really good. I approve of that. I like that. I wonder where you're gonna be in another year from now. It's a little bit scary. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is from March, 2021. And the second one is from September, 2021. And in the span of that six months, you've really improved your facial proportions. I mean, if I saw this one, I would have recommended you watch my how to draw faces video. But uh, now that I see this one, I can I can tell you got the proportions down pretty perfectly. 2020 September versus 2021 September. Did something traumatic happen to you that caused this shift towards the dark side? Yeah, something definitely happened. But on the bright side, uh, the rim lighting looks fantastic. But if, you, if there's something you wanna talk about, we're here for you. Let's go, 2019 versus 2021, and you did a full background. Look at that. And the uh, character looks much more uh, appealing than this uh, creature. And here's an environment piece, 2014 to 2021. The old one is very uh, uh, monochromatic and it's lacking depth in terms of the range of hues here that came from here once upon a time too. Uh, so I understand the struggle. Look at the second one though. Give yourself a round of applause. You deserve it. And you know what guys, just to cap this thing off, here's an old piece of mine versus now. I think it's really important to look back on the progress that you've made, you know, just Take a look at where you used to be and just how far your hard work has carried you. Whenever you're losing motivation for drawing, whenever you feel like you're just staying still and not really moving too much, you know, take a look back at your old pieces. Usually, if you look back, you're gonna see some big improvements in your work that you didn't even notice because drawing is such a slow and steady grind that we can often forget about the progress that we're actually making. And I really think seeing other people's improvement over time can be very inspiring. You know, you see some crazy ones where there's a huge improvement in the span of a year, but behind all of that improvement is a lot of hard work, a lot of repetition, a lot of practice. And uh, that's what helps them get to where they are today. So I hope this video inspires you to want to pick up a pencil, your drawing tablet, your iPad, whatever you got, and just start drawing. Because I am definitely feeling very inspired now. And thank you to my beautiful, lovely, incredible patrons uh, who support me and make all of this possible. If you want to check that out, I have a link in the description. I know I didn't get to everybody, but that's just because there are so many different entries and I might have taken some out during editing because, again, it's not you, it's me my reaction. Sometimes I, I disappoint myself. 
actually that's all the time if you want to see more art content like this feel free to subscribe to my channel and with that being said i'll see you guys on the next video i'm in a really good mood now let's go you know i feel like a proud father right now who just saw his kid's report card full of straight a's just i'm about to go for a walk right now you know walk the dog brag about my kid's report card to the other dads in the neighborhood go to the shop get some milk never come back again guys look at my new phone she is beautiful